Hey there. Um, just getting back online after some severe flooding. And um, I've been doing this week a little um, experiment with a product. Bum, bum, bum. This one, as you know, Aveeno Ultra Care. No, Aveeno Ultra Calming. Can't read that. Look at my glasses. This is terrible. It's for sensitive skin. It's a daily moisturizer and it has an SPF of 15. So, um, kind of excited. This is the first moisturizer commercially that I've, um, or actually, no, the second. I guess Spectro was the first one, but it's discontinued. Um, this is the second one I've actually been able to get on my skin in four or five years. Um, so this is awesome. But the big thing why I got this is that it has natural ingredients in it. It has uh, chamomile and feverfew, which are well known um, for... Uh, for your skin and uh, for being good for your skin and for the calming effect of course from chamomile so um thought i'd try it it's great the only thing is don't get it near your eyes ouch um so there is something in it that's irritating um for the eyes so don't get it around the delicate eye area here but after a week um <clears throat> i can wake up i can smile <laughs> <laughs> um, smiling's lovely, finally, after five years, um, and not hurting, um, and my skin stays actually quite soft. Um, my skin, my, and I'm put, putting on my neck too, it's a little irritated today because we're expecting another storm, <laughs> yay, after flooding, that's what you need, but anyway, um, but I wanted to show you what happens, um, because I think if I can, I'm going to try the Aveeno Night Cream, um, as well because uh, I put this on at night but by morning of course I'm all dry again but I get this weird film on my um, on, on the surface of my skin and it's like flaking but it's not um, I try I, here try just close up and see if we can get this I don't know if you can see it but it's like flaking but it's not it's like a fuzz almost it's kind of weird hopefully you can see that not sure. Maybe the other side's better. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. Hopefully you can see it. Um, yeah, it's weird. And it's like a fuzz. But it doesn't flake off as such. Now my my neck still has some flaking and stuff um, as well. But um, that's only because of the storm. So like I said before, the storms do affect it. But Aveeno, I am so happy with this product. Um, I'm going to branch out and see if I can actually get this um, as a night cream. I'll stick with the ultra calming line um, because I know from before um, once you find a product you should probably stick with that product line. So hopefully, 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 hopefully Aveeno is a number one. Um, at least so far in my books um, after one week so far so good. Um, but we'll do another week or two with this, and then I'll see about the night cream as well. Um, but it has a lovely smell, just to let you know. Um, it's very pretty, very, very pretty. I'm not quite sure, because I can't read it with my oh, my glasses, um, but I'm not quite sure if there's any um, perfumes in it, but I know chamomile and feverfew do have nice aromas on their own. So it's probably that, more than likely. Um, yeah, so I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Avino, for making something with something natural in it, because that's what we need. More natural products. Even if it's not 100%, at least I can use it um, when I can't use anything else on the market. So, and no, I'm not paid to say that. I'm not sponsored by Avino. Um, that is just my product review, I guess you could say. Um, and I like to give products that might help. Um, never, before I couldn't get this on my skin. It was a different line though, um, to be fair. It was just a regular Aveeno uh, moisturizer. Um, and probably a body moisturizer is not good to put on your face in the begin with. So there you go. Um, so that coupled with my baths and what I've started doing is um, because the water's kind of funky here. Um, we get some filtered water, 
we've got a big jug. Um, at Costco now, they have these big um, tube jugs, and I've got a pump for the top, um, which you can do. Um, and I'll take a picture and clip it here for you, so you can see it. So you can see it. Um, yeah, and I do um, tea tree oil, a few drops of tea, a couple drops of tea tree oil with that heated in a bowl. Um, I steam my face with it, and um, then I do like a face dunk um, as well to sort of cleanse the face because I can't rub or anything. And really, when your when your skin is irritated, you shouldn't be rubbing it. But I do that. I hold my breath and uh, plug my nose and dip my whole face into this big bowl of uh, tea tree oil water and do it that way and just let it soak in and cleanse the area and the tea tree oil what it does it's a known um, disinfectant but also skin repairer and it's natural absolutely love tea tree oil it has a very pungent very strong smell so for those of you who are um, not good with strong smells it might not be the best argan oil is another one that's really good moroccan argan oil i know it's all big and everything is it getting in there it is there see that um that's also good now before i couldn't get argan oil on i thought it was because it's from a tree nut but um it's not which is kind of cool and I get mine from the good folks over at pipingrock.com. They have amazing bills over there. you got to see that. And again, no, I'm not sponsored to say that. It's just my honest review. Um, but yeah, um, those are the things that I do. Um, along with uh, in the face bath as well, I also put coconut oil. Um, that helps. When I'm soaking the, my face in that, it's cleansing. And then the coconut oil as well is in um, is also uh, an antibiotic. What am I thinking of? <sighs> anyway, it's good for your skin. I'll think of it. Anyway, um, and it soaks in the water. The warm water will help it soak in deeper into the layers. Is my thinking anyway? And the tea tree oil gets in there and helps to treat those layers, helps them to repair and uh, become better. You got to be careful though not to put too much and to use it too often because tea tree oil is drying so the coconut oil kind of adds the moisture where the tea tree oil might uh, dry so it's kind of combating that together um, and then of course I blot dry kind of like a pat with the towel don't rub it because it's going to rub off the skin layers and any dead skin or irritated skin and that believe me is no 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 um, my daughter's heard me screaming in the shower when I've done this, um, crying in the shower. Uh, it, this has been a, a nightmare of a thing to go through, but anyhow, um, yeah, just blot dry and then follow with Aveeno. I feel like a commercial. <laughs> it's not a commercial <laughs> for them, but I feel like one. There we are. But anyway, and then I follow with that. It has this beautiful smell. I love it. Um, and, um, then of course I just spritz with my homemade, oh, which is empty. That's good. Uh, with my homemade, uh, lavender, um, oil spray and I, uh, spritz, sorry. And I spritz that all over and I just give that little extra. There you go. And, uh, that's what I've been doing for the past week. And look at my face. Ah, I can move. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, um, lovely <laughs> just showing you the pliability of, <laughs> of it there um but yeah um so hope that helps there's a tip um let me know in the comments below if it's helped you if any of this that i'm doing has helped you and um yeah best of health and happiness for you and hopefully lots of laughter and smiles love and light to you all <laughs>